I gotta ask. Um, you were the first Tom from Toonami. That's right. I mean that that is just astounding. I did not know that. And now it's time for the greatest action cartoon ever made. Dragon Ball Z is next. Ah, oh, sweet. Um, who did it? That, so you weren't the second or third one? No, no, no. That was uh, Steve Bloom. I think was the second. One. Now he did. He also do the voice of Spike on Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, I think so. That's what I knew. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because the the first Tom was awesome, wasn't he? I mean, the, the well, problem. the problem also was that uh, uh, one was that we were speak, we were recording in Dallas, and they were the Cartoon Network is in Atlanta, uh -huh. so there was a really hard logistic problem getting the studio to get it set up for them. I mean, they spent a lot of time waiting an hour for me because the studio I was working at wasn't set up. But also, they wanted to go in a different direction. The director who created Toonami Tom didn't want to go in a different direction. Uh, the problem is, is that when you, when studio executives, when things are going really well, they want to try to fix them. And so they said, you know what? At that time, all the anime that was on Cartoon Network was like fighting anime. And so they said, you need, he needs to be more like a fighter. You got this laid back guy, you right? So they, that's why they changed it. Well, that's that's well, that was the whole point. He's laid back. He's doing yeah. what we're doing, watching the anime. And it was the highest rated thing they'd ever had at any any time. As a matter of fact, Dragon Ball Z was the highest rated animated show in American history. Yeah. So they were really trying to fix something that wasn't broken. Yes, that's a, and now what are they playing right now? Live action. Yep. Tom a lot of that action's kind of lame. What? It's Cartoon Halo. Network. Cartoon Network. That. Not live action. That really There's a Deviant Art one there. with the old Cartoon Network logo beating up the new one. Like, give me back my cartoon. But I don't want to talk bad about Cartoon Network because they're going to put the new Dragon Ball Z Kai on. So. I thought Nickelodeon had that. Both. Like, Tom goes it's going to be on Nickelodeon there, too, and Cartoon Network. Solid. Nickelodeon's going to have the Y7 version, uh, and Cartoon Network is going to have the cool badass version. Why do we keep redoing Dragon Ball Z and allow Cartoon Network? I don't know, because it keeps selling. Yeah, that's it's why it's like Kai, now. So, Toonami and it's Golden News. See, I knew its ratings were at the highest. Because I kept emailing Cartoon Network. Is it the, I keep telling my, is, are your ratings better since you got rid of it? Oh, yeah, it's gotten better. Liars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what are the ratings like now with live action? I don't know. I'm, I don't work there. I just know, I, I only knew at that time because I was working for them. Um, it was, they were doing really, really Did you get well. to talk? Who created Toonami itself? Do you know who did that? Uh, God, I can't remember the guy's name. It was so many years ago. That's, so That's really bad. You can't remember the director's name. How savage. It's online, though. You can look it up and Google it. Hello. Hello. Did you bring your homework? Um, maybe. Back in the class. Wrap it up. Wow. Oh, what are you drawing right there? Can I see? Is it, uh, <laughs> oh, sweet. Of course. Like, quick, do a voice on that. Oh, hey, look, I'm a drawing. <laughs> yeah, so. Is this your first time to Boise? Yes. Are you serious? Are you serious? No way. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's my first time to Boise. Not my first time in Idaho, though. I drove through it once. <laughs> that was a weird drive, too. I felt like I was on the moon. Yeah. It's like a road. Spike. Not even any telephone poles, just dirt. Dirt for miles and miles. Yeah, There's a place that actually moon. literally looks like the moon. It's called the Craters of the Moon in Idaho. Have you been there? I, no, but oh. I, I could believe it because I really felt like I was on the moon. And then when I got to Boise, I didn't know what to expect. And I'm like, wow, oh, this is a beautiful town, you know? Now I know why they call it Anime Oasis. Yes. Anime Oasis. Yeah. Well, Boise does mean City of Trees. So. Yeah. Huh? City of Trees in French, right? Well, I'm, I'm, again, that's that's phenomenal that uh, you're the sorry that I'm going over this on Toonami and whatnot because I, I like the whole reason I even created a YouTube account was to like dedicate it to Toonami, and when, especially after when it went off the air. Uh, when did you find out Toonami went off the air? Were you surprised as the rest of us when they just pulled the plug on it? Yeah, I you know I hadn't uh, I actually heard after it already been over because I didn't really watch too much of it at that time. Yeah. Um, and yes, because the last version wasn't very good, right? Yeah, I guess, yeah, and, you know, I, I get a lot of anime at work, you know, <laughs> so I, I watch, a, I don't need to watch it after work because I see it all day. When were you tapped to do the voice? Hey, Bloody Girl, what are you? I am a zombie. She's Claire from Resident Evil. Oh! oh. That's oh. The that's that's awesome. Awesome. Let me see you guys' costumes. And we also have an Alice downstairs. So. Awesome! Four? Yeah. No, 
Let's see your third floor. Let's see your third floor. Stand up. Stand up. Awesome. Nice. Yes, so. Let's see your zombie. Delicious. Yes. <laughs> Any other cosplayers in here? Me. Yes, you. I'm sad. Really. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Come on. Yes. Splash with cold water and I change into a girl. Rama! Rama. Rama. Very good. Yeah, you, have you seen that anime? Awesome. Actually, I, I've only read the manga. Really? Because yeah. the guy who did the voice of the other Krillin was in Ron One Half as well. No, really? Yeah, Jerry I. Austin was in that one? Yeah. yeah. Why did I say all the people who did Ron One Half? Um, yeah, you're all in the action. How, when were you tapped to do the voice of Tom for Toonami? And, uh, you well, uh, you know, I, I got cast as Krillin, and that was still a part-time job for me. It wasn't paying all my bills. Um, then uh, Cartoon Network had this audition. They went through all the companies that send them animation and had this nationwide look, search for the next uh, host of Toonami. Because first it was... Uh, Moltar. Moltar, right. Oh, and yeah, so, yeah, awesome. that was one of my first lines. I'm the new Moltar. My name is Tom. I'm the new Moltar. And uh, so I, I, I just tried out for it and ended up getting it. Now, what was funny is that they gave everyone who was auditioning a videotape back then. That's, that's what it was. And uh, of the character with no instruction. So all of us were, like, practicing these robot voices over the weekend and <laughs> for the audition. And then we show up for the audition... And uh, I remember I was there with Chris Sabat and uh, the girl who played Frieza and me. Uh, they had no idea what Linda. direction they wanted to go. Linda, yeah. yeah. Linda. I can't remember her last name. Young. Linda Young. That, I think that's her name now. I think that was her name. Ch Chambers, I think was her name back then. Um, but we all had these robot voices in our heads, you know, of how this is going to sound. And they said, no, that's not what we want. We just want somebody real laid back, right? So... Uh, Chris, it kind of threw him off, and then he was like, what? What do you mean? And, and, then, and they kept, he said, just sound natural. And he's like, what do you mean, natural? And so I got in there, and I realized what they were really looking for is a punk. So I walked in, and I said, do you mean to tell me that I spent hours this weekend developing this badass robot voice, and you don't even want to hear it? And they went, uh, well, I guess we could hear it. Yeah, you should hear it. And I said, okay, well, let's hear it. So I did something lame, you know, like, okay, this is the voice for Toonami. And they said, that sucks. And I said, I know, but I just wanted to do it because I practiced it. <laughs> and then they said, so what are you looking for? And they said, we're looking for what you're doing right now. And I said, I thought that's what you were looking for. So they said, just read it like you are. And so I did, and I got the part. And they said, it was that attitude that got me the uh, part. Awesome. Yeah, and, uh, but you were only Tom for just a year and a half or so? And then they, I told you what happened with that. They changed the direction of it. But that wasn't the director's idea. He wanted to keep me. Really? Is to, let me guess. Cartoon Network made that decision? It's Cartoon Network's one of the douchebags. Ah. <laughs> well, I would say that. Because they're still putting us on the I live in Atlanta. I'm on the bottom of the street. Yeah. He's yeah. recording it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. yeah it's yeah, just because a lot of my friends are really totally sad about Toonami, yeah. and yeah. this is just, I knew the most of Krillin. No, I didn't Cartoon know. Network, they're pioneers. No, it's a brand new Toonami. But the mission objectives remain the same. My name is Tom. I'm the new Maltar. Welcome aboard the Ghost Planet Spaceship Absolution, Cartoon Network's first and only interstellar broadcast and exploration vehicle. I'll give you the tour later. From this day forward, she is completely responsible for all Toonami transmissions. I'm taking you guys into the new millennium. No big changes now, same show, same attitude. New place to do it, new guy to do it with. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get back into it. Later. Later.